basic idea is really to give the computer the ability to understand images. Um, um, and then the search part is sort of something that comes out of it. So how do you teach a computer to recognize images? So the way you do it is not much different from what um, you, how you would teach a person, uh, which is you show it lots of examples. Uh, if you wanted to learn about something that it doesn't know, uh, you collect uh, uh, some examples of images uh, of that particular scene or that object, um, for example a horse. Uh, you collect a number of images uh, that have horses running around. Um, and then you uh, build a mathematical model uh, that represents um, the image. Um, and then the computer uh, can uh, use that uh, to um, explain new images in terms of those mathematical models. Um, and that um, allows it to then perform computations and, and think about images. So the system is called uh, Supervised Multiclass Labeling. Uh, if I train the system with a set of images uh, that, all, that contain both a horse and a dog, uh, it will not be able to tell that a horse and a dog are not the same thing. Uh, the, the key is that, you know, uh, the horse uh, sometimes appears in the background, other times appears, you know, sometimes in a farm, other times might be just like in an open field, um, other times might be in a racetrack. And so you, you, when you look at all those backgrounds, you start saying, um, okay, um, I see all these examples. And there's this thing which is common here, uh, and that thing must be what this person means by this concept of a horse. Do you think that this work is going to make its way onto the internet in terms of search engine type things? I have no doubt of that. Um, the question is when. Uh, the technology that's used is really text-based technology, and it consists of uh, basically inspecting the text around the uh, image or the uh, name of the file, the, you know, the name of J the JPEG file. Um, and so um, that information is very useful uh, because you know, language is very tractable and somebody already summarized uh, what the image is about uh, for you. So we certainly want to use that information. So the purpose is not to um, you know, get rid of uh, the current technology but to really build systems that have some ability to uh, uh, move a little bit beyond that uh, and um, eliminate the ambiguities that are left um, uh, when one reads the text by actually going um, um, through the image and, and, and having some ability to um, um, understand what it is. If you uh, type in a query for uh, Big Ben, for example, it might uh, show you, uh, you know, the big man in London, or it might show you, the, you know, the Steelers quarterback. Uh, and those are two very popular interpretations of the word, uh, of the words big man. So for a search engine, um, it's really difficult to, uh, you know, figure out uh, what you mean. The work fits in a, in a sort of a line of work that has been going on in computer vision of using machine learning techniques um, in order to uh, try to solve uh, vision problems. Uh, and the, ba the rationale is that uh, there is statistical regularity in the world uh, and that's really what allows you to perceive the world. Uh, and so the, under that philosophy, the right way uh, to try to solve the vision problem is to build statistical models um, that um, allow us uh, to capture those statistic regularities. So right now, uh, we're still only uh, in the beginning of that process. Uh, so the system that we have can, do, um, uh, can deal with about 400 words. Uh, and, but um, the limitation at this point is really the training data, having enough data uh, relative to all these uh, different visual concepts. And, uh, but the goal is eventually to train these systems with uh, you know, really large uh, vocabularies. Uh, and that's really where the research uh, is going. And in fact, this sort of framework could be extended um, to um, other modalities like sound and even text. Uh, and one of the nice properties of the um, you know, machine learning sort of uh, um, approach to this problem is that there's a principal way of combining 
uh, information from all those modalities. So at the end of the day, you're working with probability, um, and it doesn't really matter if those probabilities were derived from text or from images or um, whatnot. And so there's a sort of universal language that allows us to, um, you know, combine all these uh, pieces of information um, and um, uh, make the system um, um, perform inferences uh, about uh, things that it hasn't seen before, for example.